Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom. Let's get in and let's get out right here, here, here with this particular vid right here, here, here. So we have more ratchet, more wicked, more scoffers and mockers rising up against the King of Kings and his anointed right here. This latest, um, <laughs> what do we call this right here, right? This is, this is just fuckery. We call it fuckery right here. Right. OK, so here we have Garfield, Garfield, Reed, Garfield, feed me, feed me, read. Right. All about hits and views and everything here. We just want to show something. Some of our brothers let us know that this is what's going on and everything. So we started to check it out and we said, OK, there's no debate here. There's no debate because there's no serious scholarship. Zion Lex, hail up to Zion Lex, Abdiel Ben Lewi. Abdul Ben Levi, he already exposed um, Garfield, feed me, feed me, read his pseudo scholarship. So here we see this right here. This is the most recent, about three days ago or so. Wednesday with the Rastas, highly exposed. <laughs> King's List exposed, the Rastafari exposed. Okay, for three days, it was streamed. It got 2.1K views. It's all about the views, all about the views. You remember that recent exposure about uh, Facebook? You know, the harmful algorithms, you know, conflict, you know, conflict, you know, causing like conflict for views, driving views because of conflict and pseudo controversy. Well, from a pseudo scholar, what do we expect? But this is what Dagger Squad University, okay. So fair use, fair use warning. Anyway, this particular vid right here is most recent. Then he had this one prior to that. You'll see it coming up right there. What does this say right here? It says, it says, Hyla Selassie exposed. Slash our rosters outside Jamaica, real rosters. So you see right here some, um, what do they call this? Some tribalism. Let's zoom this out so you can see the fuller page right there. Some tribalism right there. So he's trying to say that those uh, rosters, and in fact, on Sotnetta's show, Garfield, feed me, feed me, read, he actually said um, it was. Um, Priest Isaac, Priest Isaac, the truth about Rastafari, had a very good presentation. And then Garfield, feed me, feed me, read. He called in and he said, well, I'm a Rasta. I'm a Rastafari. <laughs> and then he went ahead, I think a couple of days later, you know, to plug and promote and then to put out this, you know, the one Haile Selassie exposed slash our Rastas outside Jamaica, real Rastas, some tribalism, trying to get in some Yankee Yardy kind of stuff, which makes many of us suspect he's really a millennial COINTELPRO agent, not just a pseudo scholar, not a pseudo scholar running around trying to get a bag. Watch out for the Fugazi, you know, fucked up. Got ambushed, zipped in. Watch it with that tribal war you're trying to promote, right? Trying to say that Rastafari outside Jamaica are not real Rastas, trying to insinuate that. But then he puts a question mark behind it. Okay. Then he gets into the ism, the ism schism, but up a ism schism. He said Rastafarianism. Rastafari and what? Rastafari and who? But he says Rastafarianism. Another Christianity question mark. Now that one there, about a week ago, had 3.3 K views. Not many, but still, it's many more for this pseudo scholar, you know, who's really supposed to be on the top of his game. I mean, being on the Sonetta platform and all that, you know what I mean? He should be on the top of his game, just released a book to so-called expose the Hebrews, and expose the Israelites, and expose the Bible, trying to expose everything. But he already pointed out what his real beef is. He was supposed to be a preacher or pastor. I think he was studying to be a preacher or pastor, and he, and he failed. He flopped. So now he's going against everyone who believes in the Bible or, you know, the Abrahamic religions, as he calls it. But notice this right here. So this first video right here, he has, we, we could zoom in on that on that white guy right there, Peter Volker, uh, don't want to even mispronounce his name. He has some white guy, right, who claims an Ethiopian title. Now check this out. There's this white guy, right, from Europe somewhere. He claims to be Afa Nagus. I don't know if he even know how to spell that in Amharic. You know, he claims to be the mouth of the king. 
who appointed him the mouth mouth of what king? The mouth of what niggas? And niggas will tell you something. But anyway, let's just keep this on this subject matter right here. So he has this guy come up, right? And I guess he's using him, you know, as a batting ram against rosters. He's supposed to be representing rosters. I think some primus, uh, St. Croix, you know, a particular order, a particular sect, a group of rosters that believe that, you know, their particular roster brethren is Christ. Okay, be that as it may. But here he claims that the... King's List is exposed. I mean, these are pseudo-scholars. They don't really read any Greek, right? Garfield, read. Feed me, feed me, read. Do you read any Greek? Do you read any Hebrew? Do you read any Amharic? Do you read any Guz? I mean, what do you read? What he reads is a lot of so-called white scholars. That's why he has a white scholar here, so-called to defend Rastafari. Can, can, you, can you be like Eve that? But then he had this right here, and because of the success, I guess, with this one from about a week ago called Hila Selassie Exposed, our Rastas outside Jamaica, real Rastas. What kind of tribalism, ism, schism? Then he says Rastafarianism, another Christianity. Now to the brothers and ones and ones say, oh, you should debate. Debate what? We're going to debate a, a pseudo-scholar? We're going to cast pearls to swine? Let's scroll down right here. Now, you see this other goofy video right here. Right? It says, Hollis Elassi Rastafarianism and its similarity to Freemasonry. That was about a year ago. Well, Garfield's, his particular vid did a little better than that since they're all about views and everything. The scoffers and the mockers, 2.7 views about a year ago. Then down here, we have this one here about two months ago. I think from the same, is it the same? No, it's someone else called uh, Freemasonry Exposed. They got 37 views right there. But this is what we caught that we found to be interesting right here. You see this one here? This was streamed two months ago. Two months ago. It's called, Is Haile Selassie King's List Legit or Not? With Serbian Rasta versus Traditional Rasta. What's up for this abbreviation, ism, schism? Rasta, Rasta is a derivative. It's a byword. It's a derivative. It doesn't have a real meaning in the language of the Rastafari Kanamawi Hala Selassie. You see, Rastafari is not a religion. Rastafari is the man Hala Selassie, and Hala Selassie is the god Ja Rastafari. But this particular video that he put up about two months ago, that was streamed two months ago, you see it has 243 views. Now here's what's interesting. After he came on Sarnetta's um, um, presentation, Sarnetta had uh, Priest Isaac presenting a presentation that was called The Truth, The Truth About Rastafari. Rastafari, fullness, Rastafari, Garfield came on claiming to be a Rasta, you know, and then he, it, it was awful, it was really awful, but that's what really showed us what was going on, look up here, look up here, then after that he put out this one here, the Hala Selassie exposed our Rastas outside Jamaica, real Rastas, trying to promote some tribalism, schism, that's why he said, on Priest Isaac, near the end of Priest Isaac's presentation, or near the end of the, the particular um, episode, the podcast, the, the stream, he said, he's a Rasta. He said, he's a Rastafari. I said, what, this, this crazy bald head? I'm mean, not talking about because he's actually bald head, but he's a crazy bald head, and, and bald and devoid of really any sense. But he might think he's on to something right here. Hey, you, you're on to something, all right? You know what I mean? You're on to really exposing yourself, right? And hurting any good that you might have been about doing, right? That you might. But we didn't, we didn't see any good in what you was doing even before that. But here he says, Wednesday with the Rastas. Now, notice this one is about the King's List too, right? But then, so is this a regurgitation? How long is that? Two hours, 35 minutes. Let's scroll down here. And this one here, That this was three hours, a little bit longer. But, but less views, right, after two months, right? Then we scroll down and see what else is here. What else is here? What else is here right, on the stream? Now, this was a very interesting video. It was around that time with the year of the creator, 
right? I think it's a, a good video. So we had actually, you know, copped a copy of that. Okay, we have this right here. Let's see what else comes up in the stream right here. All right, what else comes up in the stream? Now, this is a pretty, really good video right here. All right, because this video really proves that Hala Selassie, the COINTELPRO was going on back then in the 70s, right, on a major level, not just over here in the Americas against the so-called Negro, the black people in America, right, the lost sheep of the House of Israel. Garfield doesn't believe that as well, right? Anyway, this video proves that His Majesty did not steal any money. You can check that one out right there. It has 95K about six years ago. Check it out. Check it out. You know, like, post, and share. The truth about Hala Selassie, I had the stolen money exposed. That that was a lie. A lie, 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 lie. That's so why we say, are they at it again? Again, they rise up against the King of Kings and against his anointed I and I, the called chosen and faithful Rastafari. Now, this one here, this was about two months ago. This one here. Now, this is on another platform. Did he upload this twice on the same platform? This was three hours and 28 minutes right here. It says 2.5 views stream two months ago. Is Haile Selassie King's List legit or not with Serbian Rasta versus traditional Rasta? Let's go, scroll up here for a moment. Is that the same video that we just seen up here? That's the very same video, but this one is... Oh, this is Brother Garfield. Okay, he's doing a new thing, this dagger, the dagger squad. And if you notice, right, he has the same the same white guy here, right? The same white guy. Yo, the COINTELPRO, the new millennial COINTELPRO is deep, deep, deep. Watch these so-called black conscious pseudo-scholars out there, you know? <laughs> if they can't beat them, what, they join us? They try to join us? That's why Garfield said he's a roster too. La, 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 la. Also, a very good video right here. This is a very, very good video. Education is the key three. This is why they hate Hala Selassie. You need to check that video out. Facts. This is why they hate Hala Selassie. I, but this is why we, I and I, the call chosen and faithful Rastafari, love his imperial majesty, love him. Another look. Take another look. All right? And then we scroll down here, check out some other things. Now, it's interesting that a lot of them try and take attention from that Brother Polite, the scandal going on out there. That's a whole other matter right there. And, and, and okay, this goofy, this goofball here, you know, this crumb, you know, the crumbs that fall off the master's table, right? The crumbs that fall off the master's table. Yeah, we checked that one out. Then we have this, you know... <laughs> Uh, this is an interesting little video right there, right? You know, um, Empress Desha, right? Interesting, interesting, giving his point of view on Hala Selassie on the alleged death, right? And then over here, some more videos, right? Some more videos right here. And let's just scroll up, right? And priest, is that, that's not priest Isaac, another priest right there. So forth and so on. But let's get to the top. Let's go to the top of the track right here. All right now, that's a video that we posted a couple of days ago. But this is a new platform, a new channel that we have. Right? We had, you know, a bigger platform, bigger channel. But ones like Garfield and other haters, you know, that the hate is strong. Facebook got caught out there with its algorithms, you know, doing a lot of mischief in social media. That's why they bumped. You know, these um, scoffers and mocker videos, so forth and so on. So let's scroll back right here. Let's, what's this over here? Fellowship, Rastafari Fellowship. There's some really good videos out there. Secret Hand Sign. That's from our old channel right there. Right? How the Selassie, I the private meeting with the Rastafari. A lot of people don't know about a lot of these things. Right? And you need to know about it. Okay, let's scroll to the top right here. Okay. So once again, we're just going to sum up here. We said we wasn't going to be long on this right here. About almost 15 minutes. All right. Because there's no debate here, right? Even as I think it was... Um, it was... Um, John Henry Clark, he said, only debate with, you know, you, you know, ones who are more or less your equal in scholarship. This guy, they don't know no Hebrew, right? They don't know no Amharic, 
You know, if you're going to talk about the king's list, right, or you're going to talk about Ethiopia, let's go to the Ethiopian manuscripts. Let's go to the same studies, Garfield, feed me, feed me, read, that your master is the one who you like to get consensus with. You know, it's interesting how he brings on these, you know, these ones outside the black community, right, to, um, to um, scoff and mock those who are in the black community who really have shown and proved. The real Rastafari have shown and proved over the years more good for black people and humanity than these pseudo scholars, you know. But check it out. In Jamaica, from what the statistics say, if the statistics are to be believed, Rastafari is only about 1% to 2%. Think about it. Rastafari only 1% to 2%. So you're attacking a, a community that's only about 1% or 2%. I mean, there's a lot of other ones who should be so-called exposed, right? But he's spending time over here. Let all the poisons that lurk in the mud hatch out. But here, we're going to sum this up with something that His Majesty said a while ago, but it still remains true. So when you come across these and those, this is from the preface of Yehiwate Na Ethiopia Rimja. It's in Hark My Life in Ethiopia's Progress, the Autobiography of His Imperial Majesty, the Mekdem. Here in the preface, it says, A house built on granite and strong foundations, not even the onslaught of pouring rain, gushing torrents, and strong wind will be able to pull down. Some people, some people like the, the Garfield Feed Me, Feed Me Reads, like the Ain't Right, the Comintel Pro Israelites out there, some people have written the story of my life. This is from His Majesty's autobiography. Some people have written the story of my life, representing as truth what in fact derives from ignorance, error, or envy. But they cannot shake the truth from its place, even if they attempt to make others believe, be like it. Again, his Imperial Majesty, the Maui, Haile Selassie, the Godfather, Rastafari, the called chosen, the faithful Rastafari. A house built on granite and strong foundations, not even the onslaught of pouring rain, gushing torrents and strong winds will be able to pull down. Some people have written the story of my life representing as truth what in fact derives from ignorance error, or envy, but they cannot shake the truth from its place even if they attempt to make others believe it. Something I heard Judge Joe Brown say, he said that um, like ignorance is a big builder up, a builder up of, of confidence. So these ones are gaining a lot of false and fake confidence by what they're doing. But the scoffers and the mockers will be exposed for who they are. So just a couple of brief words to the brethren, ones and ones that ask us, have you seen this? Oh, he's saying this, he's saying that. He doesn't have a standing, right? And this white boy, I, this guy's claiming an Ethiopian title. Isn't that something else? Wow, wow. Of all the people that he could bring on for real serious scholarship, but he already has an agenda, just like Facebook, just like Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, you know, Zuckerberg, check out the 60 Minutes, the 60 Minutes recent whistleblower, right? The whistleblower on 60 Minutes, what they was doing with their algorithms, you know, how they were stirring up strife, stirring up strife. This is what this is all about, right? And again, and again, the wicked, the ratchet, the scoffers, the mockers rise up against the king of kings, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, and I and I, the called chosen and faithful Rastafari. And even if they attempt to make others be like it, they cannot shake the truth, the truth of the real Rastafari, the truth of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, from its place.